Hey guys and welcome to Rise Scale. So it seems like everyone has already reviewed the newest O1 model that is now available inside of ChatGPT, and people generally seem to be praising this model. And I'll just uh, straight up share a few concerns that I have with this model, but I will also give you three SEO prompts that you can try that are tailored to this uh, reasoning slash chain of prompts model that ChatGPT has just released. So the two problems that I have with this model are as follows. Number one, it is for some very weird reason not connected to the internet. So if I ask it what's the price of Bitcoin today, it will tell me that I don't have access to real-time data. And in the other response, it told me that uh, the cutoff date is October 2023 or something like that. And I would love to use this chain of thought slash better reasoning model with uh, factual data with up-to-date information. Hopefully they will fix it, because if I were to ask the same question but to gpt 4 o it should give me the correct answer. Yeah, it's searching the web, September the 13th, and the price is correct. It's even got me a uh, link that I can follow. Yeah, so that's problem number one. Problem number two blows my mind in that the newest O1 model cannot use external data, Excel, PDF, or doc documents. And this is amazingly silly because I would love to use uh, this kind of reasoning on complex documents, documentations, data, statistics, and stuff like that. And I can't. So again, hopefully that will fix it soon. And if for some very weird reason you do have this option available to you with this model, please let me know. Other than that, I've tried a few prompts and I'm uh, satisfied with the response. I will not do a full-on O1 versus Sonnet comparison, but I would say straight up that they're very equal. So I haven't uh, seen a uh, drastic improvement over Call 3.5 Sonnet, to be quite honest. But still, let's try the three prompts. They're all in my uh, ChatGPT prompts library if you're a subscriber to my newsletter link down below you get this for free prompt number one has to do with your site sitemap so i'm basically asking to analyze my sitemap see any content gaps and basically suggest keywords and topics that i can write on that are aligned with my website's content and this is a prompt followed by the euros for my sitemap so let's just run it and as you can see what i like about this model is that it shows you all the stages of its it's reasoning. So now it's evaluating the sitemap's content. Then it pieces everything together. Looking at the articles, I would assume this is not looking at the articles themselves, but at the URLs, brainstorming potential topics. And so these are the suggestions. Can torrents detect copy AI? I don't have that article. How to humanize AI text without paraphrasing tools? Wow, that's actually a very interesting topic, even for a YouTube video. AI detection tools for non-English languages, something that comes up fairly frequently in my comments section. Effectiveness of zero GPT in detection AI writing, how to avoid AI detection audio and video transcripts, uh, can copy links detect paraphrased AI text. So all of these are very valid, so I should probably copy them <laughs> and write some content on those topics. So I'm very happy with the results. So let's just start afresh. Uh, prompt number two has to do with uh, the article outline uh, and I'm writing on a keyword that I'm testing all of the best A writers against. The results you can see in my writerwatch.ai directory. So the keyword is A impact on jobs in 2024. And this is a pretty good prompt. It says that it should match search intents. It says that it should uh, reference different case studies and research, it should avoid fluff and blah, blah, blah. Let's just run it. And again, this would have been way better if uh, the O1 model was connected to the internet, which is not, at least not at the time of the recording. But still, because the chain of prompt uh, reasoning or chain of thought reasoning, I think is amazing when it comes to article outlines. Because it should correct itself as it goes. It should audit its own responses. So, introduction, brief overview of AI advancements up to 2023, intermediate impact, industries most affected, skills and roles adapting to the AI-driven job market, policy and ethical considerations, future outlook and conclusions. And this is a very robust, very detailed outline. And uh, it rivals, actually, this uh, outline rivals those uh, from the AI writers that I'm testing at the moment. Okay, but what you can do inside of the O1 model, and it's uh, pretty good at doing that. You can say challenge the buff outline for even better output as far as search intent and 
information gain. Because these are two major concepts uh, that I needed when it comes to article writing in 2024. Refining the approach, mapping out the outline, and I've tested this with almost uh, every single one of my outputs, and 90% it's way better than the original. So use it with every one of your outputs and see what happens. So I have reviewed and revised the previous outline to better address the search intent and enhance information gain for readers. The updated outline focuses on development immediate value for, by presenting key findings early on in, and incorporating the latest data research and statistics throughout. So introduction, executive summary, key statistics, detailed analysis, industry-specific impacts and case studies. So this is way, way, way better. Way better. Wow, oh my God. This is one of the best looking <laughs> outlines that I've ever seen. Oh my God, this is amazing, guys. So use that follow up prompt and yeah, report back. Please do. Okay. So it seems like I've hit the limit. Uh, let's try the uh, O1 mini faster at reasoning. And I'm uh, using this for niche research. You are tasked with suggesting 10 local competition blogging sub niches. And then I'm giving my commands here. And so the uh, niche in question is diamonds. And if you are a subscriber to my worst scale newsletter, you would have gotten the newsletter by now and you would have read that diamonds is an amazing niche. And I'm giving away um, the local edition keywords for that niche in the newsletter. So let's see what happens. So it was way faster. Um, 10 local edition blogging sub niches within a broad niche of diamonds, lab grown diamonds, certification, ethical sourcing and conflict free diamonds. Diamond care, historical and cultural significance of diamonds, unconventional diamond cuts that could be good, diamond alternatives and simulants comparison, diamond investment, DIY diamond jewelry, technological innovation, celebrity diamond styles and red carpet trends. This could be huge uh, within the uh, broader celebrity content route. So uh, to sum up, we've used this model to do our cute research based on our website and our content. We've used it to draft an amazing article outline. And finally, we've used the O1 Mini to brainstorm the 10 sub-niches, blogging sub-niches within a broader niche. So guys, I'm fairly impressed. I'm not ecstatic about it, but I think this is very useful for the use cases that I've showed. And that's it. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. And I'll see you next time. Cheers.